beer tubers. Welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Puppets. Today joined by Jakob the Lord of Bolts and Tua. And today we're going to be looking at a pretty special beer from Allagash. This is the well, show him to the, show it to the camera before you crack it and it explodes everywhere. No, this is the Allagash Interlude from 2007. It's a Belgian strong golden ale on a, what is nine point nine point five percent alcohol by volume. And the thing about this is that they uh, take it and age it in old French uh, Merlot and Shiraz wine barrels, which is pretty interesting for a Belgian strong blonde ale. It would be more kind of interesting, but it's from all the way from 2007, so it's a pretty pretty yep. old vintage here. It's a five-year-old vintage, so yep. hopefully we'll see how this held up. And this is probably the only Allagash beer available in Denmark at this time. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, probably. I know we have had the Curio Steam have uh, reviewed it. You know that. Yeah, I had that on tap in the states. It was pretty tasty. So we got the inter Allagash Interlude pour from 2007. Pretty hazy. Yeah, murky as well. A little work. bit of a whitish kind of head there. That's yeah. Cool, really. But yeah, let's check out the aroma on this building from gold now. Oh. <laughs> Very it almost smells like a goose or something, I guess. Yeah. A toned like down goose. Yeah, it's not as tart, but it has that tart vinous aroma. Kind of like, I think even those wine barrels, red wine barrels, I think it smells more like white grape. Yeah, yeah. Well, you definitely get some some of that like sour tart uh, wine barrel. Mm -hmm. Uh, some oakiness in there too. Yeah, oakiness. Sweet kind of sugary notes, but it yeah. has that kind of green apple, white grape Fuck. aroma, I think. And maybe a, just a, a little bit of cardboard, like yeah, maybe wet, a little. Wet cardboard. And that might be because of the age, I think. Maybe it's yeah. a slight sign of yeah. oxidation. I mean, the the cork was starting to go moldy. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, a little bit of that, some citrusy, lemony aromas in there too, I think. Yeah. Uh, the malt present is, is kind of a sweeter maltiness, but not too yeah. much. It's more fruity, very fruity yesterday. And, and the, malt, the malt you kind of pick up is kind of more like caramelly. Yeah. Um, Maybe lightly ready, but you want to give this a taste? Yeah, yep. it smells pretty nice. <laughs> Cheers. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a whirl. Very dry. Yeah. Yeah, that's really tasty. Not as, but it definitely has like almost sour goose of tartness. That yep. wine barrel is really nice. And, it, and the, the sweetness in it is really surprising. I would think. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's um. It kind of tastes like fudge caramel. Yeah. But it has, on top of that, it has that really traditional Belgian fruity ester. Yeah. I get some spicy oak. Also, yeah, it's got yeah. a decent amount of spice and pepperiness almost. Yeah, peppery. But really nice and vinous. A lot of white grape, mm. even though it's red wine barrels. Yeah. But maybe you just see that it, that's probably a fruity ester from the, the the yeast itself. And then the whole thing, uh, the just the general wine character from the barrel. You associate it more with the white grape than the red. But some caramel toads in there as well. Definitely also that lemoniness. It almost has a slight funky character feel. But I think that's more because it has that tart minus flavor. I would say, um, almost, yeah. I get some um, some of that uh, white wine, no, sorry, red wine sourness in the back of the tongue. Yeah. So it, it kind of tastes like. Um, yeah. Yeah, I can see you can see that. Yeah. A red wine. Yeah. Or, or Especially, uh, yeah, but it's something that lingers on the back end. Yeah. And like quite dry red wine. Yeah. Uh, so. Some of that oaky component. What about you? What do you think about? Well, the same, pretty much. There's some caramel notes as well in the, uh, the mouth. The mouthfeel is medium, I'd say. Mm -hmm. very, it, and it also almost tastes like wine cork. Yeah. It's got that corky, woody dryness. Uh, I think this is really nice, actually. Almost really some, refreshing um, for nine and a half percent. The age has definitely done it well because yeah. it's really like round, round yeah. taste. Right? Yeah. So yeah, rating wise for me, I'm giving this a straight up ninety. This is a really nice barrel aged Belgian strong golden ale. Uh, I have no idea how it is fresh, but I really like this. This is good stuff. Yeah, I'm going idea. This is great. It doesn't kind of cardboardy as you yeah, mentioned in the uh, notes. If you look past that, I think it's pretty yeah. good. <clears throat> That's true. That's true. I'm going to be a little more conservative and uh, 85 because of the cardboardiness. Well, it, it's expected still, but I also think it's, it's, it's a bit too spritzy. There's a bit too oh, much, too much carbonation. carbonation. Yeah. Well, it is a Belgian strong gold nail. They're usually a little more carbonated. Yeah. But, yeah. Still a pretty nice brew, so. 
definitely let us know what you think of the Allagash Interlude if you've had it, especially if you've had uh, newer vintages. It'd be nice to hear. It's one of their limited release beers, so yeah. I don't know. I, I, I believe they still do make it. Uh, but yeah, guys, remember to let us know, and as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and we're gonna say cheers. 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 We're gonna see you guys in another beer.